In most role-playing games, play begins with character creation. One could even argue that writing down persistent traits for a unique character was the most important step that allowed role-playing to emerge from wargaming in the early 1970s. Role-playing game studies have, however, not paid much uh, sustained attention to character sheets. In this talk, we want to contribute to addressing this lack by discussing a version of the character sheet that has become a central aspect of online play culture in some parts of the indie TTRPG community. The character keeper is a shared and emphatically digital character sheet. We will do so in three steps. Adrian will introduce character keepers as digital character sheets. Gerrit will give an overview over exemplary character keepers and the history of this format. Adrian then presents player and design theorizing on character keepers, followed by a very short conclusion. As the most important player facing resource in TRPGs, as Jason Morningstar has called it, character sheets are, as suggested by Lars Konzak, a crucial element for keeping the textual machine of the game session running. How are these aspects translated to online play in the form of the digital character keeper? While paper character sheets can, of course, be used while playing TRPGs online, especially over the last decade, many forms of storing character information digitally emerged in online play. One way of doing so is using a so-called character keeper, a ca term coined by Jason Cordova, founder of the online TRPG community, The Gauntlet. Character keepers are digital character records, most often created using Google Sheets. They contain various individual spreadsheets, either one sheet per character or a single sheet for all characters, plus a variety of other sheets for additional information. These two screenshots show a relatively simple and empty 2013 keeper for Dungeon World and a much more complex 2021 keeper in use for Brindlewood Bay, containing a variety of tabs on characters, safety, moves, GM information, etc. A keeper allows everyone to look up details that when using paper sheets would be mostly inaccessible on the other player's character records. This can create opportunities for collaborative narration. Character keepers therefore go beyond fairy paper sheets in at least the following regards. Serving as shared sheets, they allow players to access information on all player characters. Many sophisticated keepers take advantage of the programming interface of Google Sheets to provide functions like drop-down selections for character options or real-time calculation of stats. Keepers often also track shared session and campaign notes, lists of NPCs, ongoing mysteries, etc. The facilitator or GM can keep scenario and game state information in the keeper. Some keepers include reference information needed to play the game, basic rules, skill lists, moves, etc. Supplementary tools that facilitate play like safety tools are often integrated. And lastly, a keeper might also contain links to other accessories used during online play like dice rollers or uh, Roll20 or other virtual tabletops. These characteristics are not simply technical differences to analog sheets but have direct effects on the resulting play culture. This also distinguishes keepers from other digital translations of paper sheets that mimic the characteristics of paper. How are character keepers actually used in online play? Most keepers are unofficial creations made available as links to a master spreadsheet template. The biggest collection is the Play Aids Google Drive folder of the gauntlet, which collects over 400 character keepers as of June, 2021. The facilitator makes a copy of the master template, saving it in their own Google Drive. While playing, players keep a browser tab with the keeper open, referring to it and updating it. Next, we will quickly introduce some exemplary keepers. In the 2010s, playing TRPGs online became increasingly popular. Quickly, Google Docs was used to keep shared notes on a play session or ongoing campaign. There seems to have been some hesitation, however, to transfer character details to a shared document, as the paper character sheet was somehow considered sacred and under the player's control. Some of the oldest Google Sheets templates that could be called character keepers were designed by Sean McCarthy in mid-2013. The first of the Dungeon World Keeper we showed before. Other keepers created by McCarthy were for Fate Core, Apocalypse World and Monster Hearts. I wanted to avoid imposing on players to create and manage their own sheets elsewhere, help out the other GMs and something 
you were that simple to get everybody's info in one place for my selfish sanity, is what he told us. The concept quickly spread through the part of the indie TRPG community which played online. We quickly want to present aspects of four particular keepers. A model for many keepers were McCarthy's 2013 templates. All relevant infos are sorted vertically by character and horizontally by stat characteristic. That way, all information is accessible to all players in one place. Jason Cordova's 2015 Keeper for Monster Hearts added drop-down menus for choosing the values of stats and for tracking harm and experience. A second tab in the Monster Hearts Keeper, already present in McCarthy's 2013 version, visualizes an American high school classroom as the game's starting situation. Many, especially newer keepers, contain a separate tab for safety tools. Some offer a sheet for lines and veils designed with a focus on anonymity and accessibility, allowing players to select topics they want to completely avoid, a line, or what want not to be played out in detail, a veil. Depending on the checkboxes selected, the color of the, of the most restrictive column is highlighted. As you can see here, like choosing, moving forward. Despite many advances, in the Keeper for Trophy Gold from 2021, the structure of the 2013 Dungeon World template is still visible. This professionally designed Keeper features a formula control tutorial which provides a step-by-step -step character creation guide. If we look at this and now we enter the player name and next it highlights the field for pronouns, so we enter the pronouns. And finally, when everything is entered, it tells us that we can, well, are now ready to play. Some games use character keepers to implement mechanics that would need complex technological solutions to reproduce them offline. The keeper for the live action online game, Outscored, relies on conditional formatting to color each player's screen depending on the character's social score, which changes depending on their actions in the game. As according to the rules, the only light illuminating the player's faces in the video call shall be light emitted by the monitor. This creates a direct link between the functionality of the Keeper and the atmosphere in the game, like as shown here. Player theorizing in blog posts, online forums, and on podcasts is an important part of TRPG culture, as highlighted by Evan Turner. In, certain, in a certain sense, then, the reflections we present here are at times little more than a systematization of existing discussions within the contemporary indie TRPG scene. Most theorizing highlights benefits to either gameplay or design. In the words of Rich Rogers on the podcast Dysology, it really is an evolutionary step in how we look at our characters and how other people look at their characters. And I don't know if it's super valuable for a D&D type game, but in games where there's a lot more collaboration, where you might have certain moves that other people can set up, it is so powerful just to look across that array and just see everybody's stuff, their hooks, what they're about. I love character keepers, like I can't get away from them. The role of keepers in design and playtesting is emphasized by Jamila Nejadi, who uses keepers to design and playtest their games. We suggest systematizing these discussions about keepers according to the different frames of TRPG play, building on Goffman, Fine, Mackay, and Growling Covers work. In regard to the social frame, keepers provide organizational advantages. They can be accessed without additional software or accounts. Complex keepers are full campaign managers with all data needed during play or also can contain safety tools. In regard to the game frame, the most often mentioned advantage is how shared access to character information facilitates collaborative play. However, this can also lead to power gaming seen as problematic, always checking who would be best at this thing. Automation affords additional possibilities, drop downs for stats and skills and formulas that automatically update data as we have seen. This can take care of a lot of crunchy elements of a game. Too much automation, however, might make using a keeper too complicated or breaks the spreadsheets. Keepers are additionally also discussed as helping in the creation of characters, in learning how to play a game, and in helping GMs prepare for a game session. In regard to the narrative frame, keepers support the creation of a story in which each of the player's character's special abilities and other narrative elements are regularly incorporated. In the design of character keepers, one central question is whether to put all characters on one tab or use different tabs for each character. 
The practice of character keeper design very often involves copying an existing keeper and working off of this template by revising and reworking it according to the needs of a particular game. Many of today's character keepers are therefore the result of a very complex process of borrowing and cross-pollination. In conclusion, we argue that in the contemporary discussions around character keepers, we can trace elements of envisioning what a character record for TRPGs as analog games can look like that is designed as digital from the ground up. Thank you. Thank you.